Luke. <coughs> so, let's go back. And when we asked you to come back and join the band, talk about how, what you were saying earlier about how it was almost like a coming home because you had already done so much stuff with Aswan and you knew the band and you knew everybody. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a, a really funny, um, very natural feeling transition. Aswan had, had asked um, Nicholas and I to join the band and we both had already in our heads started another band called Cannon Hill at the time and so we were kind of set on that and we both declined the offer and then Jordan came along and said yes to the idea of starting a band with Aswan and me and Jordan hung out a lot at the time and it felt totally normal and then actually when you know go down the road three years and having a phone call with Jordan and him saying do you remember when you said you felt like you were supposed to say no to Paper Tongues in the moment, but you didn't know, you felt like there might be a place in the future for you? And I said, yeah, I do remember that. And he goes, well, you know, like, I knew I wasn't supposed to be in the band forever, but now I know it for sure is the time when I'm supposed to step down. And he goes, I think it'd be a great opportunity and a great thing for you to pick up where I'm leaving off. And it just kind of put the icing on the cake at that point after all the conversations on the telephone with Aswan and Devin and um, our manager at the time. Um, at the time I was just working at Starbucks. I quit my job in six hours, sold two vehicles, um, closed a lawn business, and I left bef within the week. I uh, started learning songs. I had to learn 14 songs in two weeks and then we went and played. The very first show was with Lincoln Park in Arizona. So it went from feeling like you might have made the wrong decision at one point in your life and you say if I ever get the opportunity to say yes to the something like Paper Tongues again I would do it and then for it to actually come about again to get a second chance on something like that and then come in your first show is in front of you know 20,000 people that was a pretty eye-opening crazy life experience probably one of the most crazy experiences I've had in my life so far I don't know, does that sum up what you asked? It's awesome yeah, that was great. 